so I'm here. This is Hotel de, v de Van. <laughs> I think it's that's how you pronounce it. It's um, a restaurant. It does cocktails and it also does rooms and that's where I'm going to be staying for my first stay. Um, very hard to find. It's in like the business district. There's no parking. It says parking but there isn't <laughs> because I tried to find it earlier. Um, so I've parked a mile away and this is where I'm going to be staying so let's see what it's like. And so this is the reception. It's a nice beautiful reception area and in there that's the bistro and now I'll be shown to my room so let's see. Right so this is the so this is the bathroom look at this this bathroom's nice we've got a mirror sink a nice bath uh yeah it's nice and then you've got a place to put your luggage a little desk little wine and dine so you can eat in or you can go downstairs uh, a tv a nice wardrobe big size these blinds and you've got the thicker blinds obviously to get the light out and a nice big bed you know it's not <laughs> the fanciest bedroom in the world but it's got everything you need you know no complaints so far um yeah nice little room and I'll do the full review as luck once I'm here for the whole night. So that's the, you've got like the, the bubble lounge. Now I'm not going to go in there because there's lot, lots of people in there. But I'll just give you a quick view of it without so it's like a lounge area and then that is the over there is the bistro again there's people in there so I don't want to go in there but it's like a restaurant type so I'm here at Hotel de Vin, Van I think it's called um, there is a restaurant and a bar downstairs but um, I think there's there are people in there what I'm gonna try and do in a minute is walk downstairs it took me ages to find this room um, the rooms are all not numbered, they're all got names. And if you go in the wrong direction, it just takes you round and round. Somewhat one of the housekeeping staff helped me. So I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to just see if they'll let me film in the restaurant or the bar area. Um, if there's loads of people in there, obviously I won't be able to. And I don't want to get anyone's faces in either, but let's see. So you've got the, the bistro. Uh, the main restaurant and then the lounge area um it's a bit busy <laughs> so i'm not going to go in there because it's not fair on people uh who are eating and enjoying themselves i might later on come down and have like a meal um i'll see but yeah this is the like this more of the reception so i'll see so i just ordered um room service the restaurant is really um, busy and I was going to go out, so I was going to go out and just buy um, something from Tesco because there's shops around here and then last minute I thought I'll just order in. This burger looked really nice. I said no cheese, so I'll see what this tastes like and that's with pineapple juice. Hi everyone, so I've just stayed at my first hotel. As I said, I'm going to be doing this hotel inspector thing. Um, where I'm staying at different hotels in Birmingham and the one I've just stayed at is just behind me which is the Hotel de Van which is a French restaurant um, and hotel it's medium size it's got 66 rooms so first of all very welcoming uh, so I'm gonna give the service part of it um, four and a half out of five um, very welcoming receptionist Omar very handsome <laughs> on, on the uh, reception I had a problem with my TV signal. They sent someone up straight away to fix it. All the receptionists on there were really nice. So yeah, I'd give that a really high score. The second is sleep. That was one of the best sleeps I've ever had. Really comfortable bed, really good range of pillows. I didn't want to, I mean, considering I went to bed really late, I went to bed at like after midnight. I still got up like early and I had a brilliant sleep. I feel refreshed. Um, great, nice bedding, good quality overall of things like towels. Um, that's another thing facilities wise. 
they had lots of toiletries the only thing that let them down a little bit was biscuits were horrible <laughs> some cheap uh, wafer biscuits um, they didn't have enough water it was a tiny bottle of water which you'd expect more for what you're paying um, what about other facilities other facilities they've got two on-site restaurants and bars room service was nice I'm gonna um, when you see the video you'll see the pictures of the food that was I said to the guy on the till this morning um, on the reception I could eat that burger every day quality chef quality food and the thing is usually with burgers and steaks I normally say how I want it done but they just did it perfect it was just they're just a really good chef um, what else value for money definitely yes it was 98 pounds for a classic room they do sweets as well which go up to like quite a lot of money but for a um okay someone's uh, talking uh, so <laughs> so yeah so um value for money i'd say yes to get a room um for 98 pounds um in birmingham at a nice hotel with lots of good facilities it, I've paid a lot more and got a lot less for that so what else location wise I'd say location it's even though it's in like a, the business district it's quite quiet it was um, you know it was a busy uh, night there was lots of people around but I got a good night's sleep I wasn't disturbed by like any noise probably because there's lots of roads that have been closed so that was good um, overall yeah I'd give it four and a half to five if you want somewhere that's like nice, friendly, relaxed, um, easy to get to, uh, I mean, it could do with parking because the parking, um, there's road closures, but also it's really expensive. It's something like 16 pounds for parking. But yeah, overall, I'd say that it's a nice day. I know that I'm going to stay at other nicer places, but um, as a, it's a good start. So yeah, that's Hotel de Van. It's in Birmingham city centre. And um, yeah, had a good night's day.